Hi, this is uh, part two of my small Axial Flux 6 coil 8 magnets uh, alternator. I have three AC wires coming out from the side, going into two rectifiers here. And I have uh, wires coming out from the other end, and I tie it together to make the star configuration. I make this accessible in case I need to wire it uh, differently. Uh, I cast the stator. Uh, it's about half an inch thick. It looks thicker, but uh, the middle is actually uh, thinner. Uh, the magnets I'm using for the bottom plate is uh, quarter inch square magnets. Uh, I took those from my ceiling fan alternator. Uh, the ceiling fan has a bit of cogging and for the windmill the wings that I was using it wasn't really turning that well. So I'm trying this axial flux uh, design. and. Uh, I haven't really installed any magnets on the top plate there, a couple of magnets there. The bottom plate, uh, the gap is about an eighth of an inch. I don't want to bring it too close because uh, I haven't really glued it down yet. So right now I'm just turning to see if it turns smoothly and it does. I'm using a bicycle hub as an axle for the front I mean uh, the front axle and I just clamp it down to a couple of 2 by 4s and I have a, a pole that I have ready to mount this to and I have uh, made some aluminum wings uh, they're probably not gonna turn that fast uh, but that's why I made the axial flux uh, it doesn't have any cogging so even if it's running at slow speed it will generate some electricity like I was saying this is my second uh, part to making this thing here and uh, The wire that I'm using is very thin, so it's going to have a lot of resistance and it's going to have uh, quite a bit of voltage, but not much amps. So if this works well, I might wind some thicker wire and, and uh, increase the uh, output. So I can basically use the same setup and just change the stator. So right now I think it's about turning about 60 RPM and it's lighting a bunch of uh, LEDs that I have and even when I'm turning it very slowly it's giving me like 14-15 uh, volts so this is about uh, oh, 80 RPM. I don't think in actual practice the uh, windmill will turn too much faster than 100 RPM. It's just the, the wind that I have in my backyard. is I just don't have a lot of wind. Now at this speed, you can see the way I'm turning it, it's probably, i say about 100 RPM. So it's giving good voltage, 17, 18. And now I'm turning a bit, quite a bit faster. So. About 18 volts or more. Yeah. 
and this is uh, basically with one set of magnets on the bottom and it's probably gonna give me a little more output more voltage uh, with uh, more magnets installed at the top so I was having trouble with uh, finding the, the right bearings uh, so this bicycle axle is working well and basically what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna attach uh, the wings to the top here sort of like a lens 2 design uh, so when I have that ready and set up and when I get some wind I will make another video. So right now you see even though the alternator is not turning I'm, you still see the voltage uh, holding at 14 volts, 14 and a half. Um, that's because of the capacitors there. I read somewhere that you have to, uh, on YouTube actually, you have to put a capacitor to block the DC from going back because I have the star configuration. But I, when I uh, put the capacitors here, it slows down the uh, alternator. Maybe it's shorting it out, I'm not sure. So I'm not going to do that. See how fast the okay, goes up to 20 volts. 18, 19, 20 volts. That's about six LEDs here, so that's about uh, 18, 19 volts. At least 150 milliamps, I would think. All right, that's it for now.